All right, what's up guys? I'm back. It's been a little bit since I've had a video out here on the flat range doing a little bit of LARPing with my Galil Ace Gen 2 in 5.45. So today I wanted to come to you guys with a little bit more of a review on the Meprolite Foresight Optic as well as the MX3F magnifier that I've got on here. So I'm still learning about this optic. It's a lot smarter than I am. So I'm having some trouble trying to figure everything out. It does connect to an app, which is really cool. I do have the app on my phone. Um, it's got auto zeroing features. It has a five weapon platform selector. So you can actually zero it in for different weapons and then you can uh, swap it from gun to gun, uh, which is a really cool option to uh, to be able to do that, right? So another fun thing about it, it does have 21 different reticles, uh, so you can kind of uh, mix and match and choose what you want. It kind of reminds me of like a video game, <laughs> but a really cool feature that uh, you're able to take advantage of. Um, another cool thing about it, it does have updates. So you can actually hop on the app to check to see if your optic is fully up to date. Um, so they say, uh, uh, Meprolite says that they are coming out with a, uh, an update that will allow for round counting. Um, I'm not holding my breath though. Uh, a lot of guys say that a app or a optic or a device that can count in rounds is a hazard. Uh, because say it says you're out of ammunition and really you still have one round left. So I'm sure that's something that they are well aware of and kind of working on. Um, so pretty cool that they do allow updates on an optic, right? Another cool feature about it, it does have a auto leveler. So what that is, it actually shows like your cant. Like if you have the rifle, uh, let me show you here, just to make sure the weapon is clear. Um, so when it's canted like that, canted like that, it's actually gonna show you um, within the optic. And then it also has a compass. So it's actually not gonna show you north or west, it's gonna show you in degrees. So if you're looking dead north, it'll be zero degrees north, right? Um, so it's kind of nice having those features. Uh, to be honest with you, I haven't really put them to use, but just having them in there uh, kind of blows people away when they're like, what in the heck is going on inside your, your optic, right? It's pretty cool stuff. The magnifier, I've had pretty good luck with. Um, it's interesting looking through this optic because there's a lot of digital display going on inside of this optic. So when you use the magnifier, you can actually see like the digitalized output of that, um, of the optics. So it's a little bit different than like your typical EOTech, but uh, something to just get used to and certainly just enjoy having a magnifier on a 1X optic. So having the option to zoom in three times uh, at the click of a button and turn that uh, magnifier over is really nice. Um, this is a 545 caliper, so you know, uh, I believe 545 is a little bit more accurate than your typical 762 by 39. Um, 545 by 39 is really similar to a 556, right? So you can reach out pretty far. I personally have only gone out about 100 yards with this platform, um, but I'm looking forward to kind of reaching out a little bit further now that I've got the magnifier on there. Today, we're not gonna be doing that. Uh, today, we're just gonna be doing some short range stuff. Um, I'm not gonna be talking too much about the firearm, more so about the optic and kind of how it performs. I'll also give you guys some close-ups on the inside of this optic, like what I'm looking through. So let's first do a little bit of mag dumping because you know, 545 is super plentiful and you can just find it anywhere. So why not mag dump it, right? Gotta love that 545, man. Hardly any kick, a lot of power, accurate, and impossible to find ammo for, thanks to uh, thanks to Russia. Well, gotta thank the, them rescues for uh, giving us the 545 the amount of time we did get it.
All right, guys, so that magnifier, it does pretty good. I mean, I've used the uh, EOTech 5X and the Vortex 3X, and um, I'd say they're just as decent. Um, the one issue I've noticed with this guy is that it does have a slight amount of movement. I'll show you that right here. I don't know if you're able to actually see that, but it does move ever so slightly within that mount. Another issue I've had with it is that uh, if I am doing quite a few rounds downrange, this will actually start to loosen. Um, and I have tried to tighten it up before, and it looks like I'm just going to have to go tighter with it uh, just to ensure that this doesn't just pop off on me, right? Um, I will say that Meprolite has a really good warranty. Um, I've, I haven't sent anything back personally, but I've talked with them about my first magnifier I got from them, which was the MX3T, and that's their tactical version, and that's does not have the push button. Whereas this one does have the push button that helps lock it into place. The T, you just rock it back. The one I had had issues with, again, that wobble, but it was much worse. Um, and I've dealt with a few of the other ones and they didn't have that issue, so I think it was a one-off. Um, but I decided to try the one with the push button opposed to the tactical version. And I really like it. Um, I'm a fan of magnifiers. You know, everybody has their preference on LPVOs versus magnifiers. And um, I like them both, honestly. I like to try out all the platforms that are out there. Um, but I'd say between the two, I really like just a magnifier. All right, guys. So, trying to kind of get this foresight sighted in. Um, I was having a little bit of luck at 100 yards back there, but something's up with the zeroing function in it. Every time I adjust the zero, it brings it back down to zero. Um, so I don't know. I, I probably should read the manual. It might help. <laughs> but. Um, I'm gonna give it a shot here at 244 yards. I do have a steel gong on a large dirt mound. And I know some of you may be thinking it's really dry out here, which it is, but uh, we have had a little bit of rain. Also, the steel gong is on a large dirt mound with no grass around it. Like there's like a 20 to 30 foot radius of no grass. Otherwise, I wouldn't be shooting steel. I'd just be shooting paper. But uh, I'm out here by myself and it's hard. I didn't bring my spotter. So it's kind of hard to see where I'm hitting. So it's nice to have that audible noise. 244 yards uh, for 545 isn't hard unless of course your optic isn't working and also I'm just using a 3x magnifier on this so we'll give it a shot I've got 20 rounds left and that's all I've got so um, let's see what we can do yeah, that was real close it looked like it was just to the left That was just low at the target. Looks like that one went high. Hit. Okay. It's actually right on target. Hit. All right, guys. We landed a few shots there at 244 yards. Not bad. Uh, that's my first time ever taking this platform and actually that caliper out that far. Um, I know it's capable of more, um, but a lot of time it has to do with the operator, this guy. So, um, you know, that was fun. I would definitely like to try uh, a little bit further distances. Um, I've got a couple other rifles with five four or in five four five, but I really want to try and figure out this optic. It's nice with that three X magnifier. That's definitely a huge help, especially shooting. You know, 244 yards, that's definitely a game changer. Um, you're actually able to see your target and identify your target, which right now I'm shooting a fucking goat. Steel goat out there. Not bad. There's like no wind, so that helps. Um, yeah. That's it, guys. I'll probably do a couple more videos on this before I post it. You probably won't hear any of this that I'm talking about right now because I'll edit it all out of there. But talking anyways, just continuing to talk.
All right, guys. Catch you on the next one. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hey guys. So I've been messing with the zero on this Meprolite Foresight, kind of figuring it out. Um, so it does have like a, a zero stop feature to it. So what that means is when you go into the zeroing mode, it's actually going to uh, let you adjust for the height or uh, windage or the, uh, should I say the, the distance. So you can adjust horizontal or vertical uh, depending on the wind and the distance that you're shooting at. So once you get it zeroed at about 100 is what I like to do for even something like this. Um, that way it's just giving me a nice bearing for it. Um, you save and then if you are shooting at a further distance, you're able to just adjust. So right now I, I do have it in zeroing mode and I've got uh, some targets out at 100 yards. So I'm going to try and get those uh, with what I've got it zeroed at. So I'm coming close to a conclusion on my Meprolite Foresight and my MX3F uh, magnifier. I've been doing quite a bit of shooting with this firearm lately and I, I mean I obviously love is my Galil Ace, I love this thing, but I've really been trying to focus on just kind of figuring out this optic. Um, it's getting close. Uh, so there is one thing that I haven't really tested with and that's the Auto Zero auto zeroing function and with that function you do have to have a separate app to utilize it and that app does cost money um, I wasn't really down to pay for it yet I hope to have this optic for a long time so maybe when I do eventually get that app I can do another review on the auto zeroing and pretty much you set up a target at exactly a certain distance you enter that distance in you enter that target in you take a few shots you take a picture of that target and it auto zeroes the optic for you i believe i've got it fairly well zeroed in at around 100 yards um, so i'm confident with this optic as of right now um, and i'll, I'll kind of go into some details uh, when i'm not in such a windy area for you guys if this is something you're very interested in um, and again it's a fantastic optic. It charges off a of Type C, which I think is really cool. I always carry around Type C chargers because I uh, use things that take Type C. So it is nice having that option. Um, one thing I will say is that uh, replacing the battery is not something you can do. I'm pretty sure you have to send it to a factory to get that done. But I did just do some recent goon tape upgrades. Got my sweet goon shirt. I love those guys. Um, I'm really liking this goon tape. I did the ghost gray, so it's kind of a cool look. I really love this Khalil and it's been fun having uh, things to do to it. So let's just do a uh, quick little mag dump into some steel. Um, again, it's 545, so I don't want to go through too much of it, but uh, yeah, let's do a little uh, shooting here so you guys can see. rounds that hurts oh. this thing is so fun all right guys i appreciate y'all tuning in on this review um it's been quite a few days in the making uh, i can only really go out and shoot on the weekends and whatnot and days off so i've been trying to gather as much information as i can on this optic setup and hopefully kind of bring this information to you guys um, in hopes of y'all kind of discovering Mepper Light. Uh, I think they're a fantastic company. I really, really like their stuff and um, customer service has been fantastic. Uh, anytime I've got questions, they're always right there. Um, they also make amazing iron sights if you guys have ever checked them out with a lot of tritium glow options. So, you know, if it's something you've ever been interested in, definitely give them a quick look-see. And I uh, appreciate y'all tuning in, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.